Here are the cards that my mom keeps in her wallet, with a surprise from Esther later in this video. So let's do this wallet first. It's just a normal zip wallet, just to make sure your coins and dollar bills don't fall out. I think it's just a cheap little wallet that you usually see from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, those kind of stores. But we'll deal with this mess later. Now for this wallet, the reason why she keeps her credit cards in here, because she's really afraid of the RFID scam, where somebody walks by and scans your wallet, and they can access your credit card information. So that's the honest reason why she packs this around with her. It's not for the cute designs, and this wallet is actually fairly cheap. I remember I used to have this when I was a teenager, and it fell apart on me, so definitely not the best way to carry your cards. But let's go further into our wallet, especially after convincing her to join the credit card game, because before, it wasn't even too long ago, my mom was a cash-only type of person. She believed all the types of credit card myths. She used to keep a 1% balance on her credit cards, even tried to convince me to do the same, because at that time, she believed it would increase your credit score, which as we know, no, is not true. It is truly a myth. But let's just get into the wallet. First card she has in her wallet is actually gift cards. They're good for Giant Eagle, Market District, and Gecko. And they're a favorite among the Cleveland area. But as soon as I got out of the north side of Ohio, I've noticed there isn't too many Giant Eagles. People don't really know what I'm talking about. And I think it's always good to keep gift cards in your wallet so you're not losing out on not using them. Because every second you're holding a gift card and not using it, those companies are making money off the money that you're not using. So try Try to use a gift card as soon as possible. That's my philosophy. Especially a physical card, because many times people just lose them, and that's more money for the companies. This next credit card convinced my mom to join the credit card game. It is that powerful of a credit card. And that credit card is the world of Hyatt. So what happened? Why did this card convince my mom to join the credit card game? Well, we're gonna do a vacation in New York. And of course, when you're doing a vacation, you have to book through the website, right? When we were booking through the website during checkout, my mom was given an offer to apply for the Hyatt credit card. The offer was if you spent $3,000 within three months, you would get 30,000 Hyatt points. You know, the standard offer. But here's the kicker. If she spent $3,000 within three months, she she would also earn an FNC, or free night certificate, up to a category 7 hotel. And you gotta remember, Hyatt only has 8 categories, so that's like a top tier hotel. Pretty good sign up bonus in my opinion. But that free night certificate changed everything. She used it to stay on the Thompson near 5th Avenue in Manhattan, New York. And after staying there, she wanted more. She finally figured out how powerful credit card points are, and she's all the better for it. But even without the welcome bonus, this card is pretty powerful, because even even though this card has a $95 annual fee, every year that you renew this card, you will also get a free night certificate. Not as impressive when she first signed up for the card, but the free night certificate that comes with this credit card is good for any Hyatt hotels that are between a category 1 hotel and a category 4. And if you take full advantage of the free night certificate, staying at a category 4 hotel can easily save you up to $300 or even $400 a night, and the only thing that you paid for it was the annual fee of $95. So paying $95 compared to $400, I think is a no-brainer. The multipliers on this card is also not too bad. I think with this card alone, can get a lot of normal people into the credit card game, like my mom. Powerful stuff. The next card she has in her wallet is the Delta Sky Miles Gold card. And she was actually very proud of this card. She applied for this card by herself while I was moving, so she knew I was busy and decided not to call me. But she got an email offer for the Delta Sky Miles Gold card, and she knew she wanted to collect some airline points because she wanted to travel to Hong Kong soon. And she saw in the email offer that there was a limited time bonus of 60,000 miles when you spend $2,000 within six months. And she was just thinking in the back of her mind, oh my god, it's a limited time, I've gotta apply for it now. But it was only after a couple days after she applied for it, we got on a phone call and she was just so giddy about applying for a credit card by herself, especially getting what she thought was a high sign up bonus. But later on I did tell her that the Delta Sky Miles Gold card does sometimes offer a 75,000 miles welcome bonus, which is the welcome offer I signed up for, and also she missed out on using my referral, so that kinda sucked. But now before she applies for any credit cards, she calls me first. The card also isn't too bad itself. For the first year she doesn't have to pay anything. However, I told her when the annual fee hits to downgrade that gold card into the Delta Blue card because the Delta Blue card doesn't have an annual fee. So she'll basically never have to pay an annual fee for the Delta Gold card. 
but still also be able to take advantage of the benefits for the first year, like getting your bags checked for free, take off 15. But other than that, the Delta Gold card isn't too interesting of a card. The multipliers aren't too great. You get two times on dining, two times on groceries, two times on Delta purchases, and one times on everything else. I don't think the Delta Gold card is too worth it. I actually convinced her to apply for the Delta Platinum card because that sign up bonus is pretty insane. But not only that, I think the Delta Platinum card is a good keeper card. It comes with a companion certificate, which can easily out size that annual fee and it comes with all the other benefits that the delta gold card offers like take off 15 and free check bags along with extra benefits like getting global entry or tsa pre-check covered for you so definitely a card i think is worthy to fit in my mom's setup especially since she doesn't travel too much doesn't have too much loyalty among hotels and she mostly spends at restaurants and groceries Next card she has in here is the Cracker Barrel gift card. And for some reason during Christmas, a lot of her coworkers gift her a Cracker Barrel card. I know a lot of people like Cracker Barrel, and I gotta admit, it is fun having the store and restaurant like combined together. But I don't know, I've sort of given up on Cracker Barrel. I feel like most times than not, I usually get sick out of Cracker Barrel, so I try to stay away. The next card she has in her wallet is the Sam's Club credit card. And if you've seen what's in my dad's wallet, you knew this was coming. She isn't as crazy as my dad, she only has the Sam's Club credit card because Sam's Club just happens to be the closest wholesale club to her. It's just convenient. Overall, it's not a bad credit card. So technically this card gets you 5% back at Sam's Club. You get 2% back for being a plus member. And then with the credit card, you'll get 3% back at Sam's Club purchases. So a total of 5% back. I think the biggest thing with this credit card is getting 5% back on gas. And that doesn't necessarily have to be at a Sam's Club gas station. Any place she uses this card to buy gas with, she'll be earning 5% back. So definitely a strong category there. The next card she has in her wallet is her Costco membership card. She doesn't normally use this card, it's a little bit out of the way for her, but since my dad pays for the Costco membership, as many of you know, when you sign up for the Costco membership, you also get another membership for free within people in your household. So if for some reason, maybe there's a better deal at Costco or she just ends up at a Costco, then she'll have the membership card just in case and earn 2% back on all Costco purchases. And the last card she has in her wallet is her driver's license. And you know everybody has to hold on to this. There's no real way to avoid it. And these were all the credit cards she has in her wallet as of right now. I'm telling you, after getting that free vacation to the Thompson, she's definitely more excited to apply for more credit cards. I mean, it's pretty good for somebody who just turned away from cash not too long ago. So as of right now, these two credit cards are her main credit cards. And hopefully later on when she does take that trip to Hong Kong and travel internationally, she'll really understand the power of credit cards because those points will take you even further. So I think this is really the true beginning of my mom's credit card journey. And of course, in her other wallet, she has cash, she has lucky money, even more money in this pocket, and just like a couple of coins. And this pile of cash actually used to be a lot larger. But after getting the Hyatt card, she mostly carries cash just for emergencies. Actually, funny story about this wallet specifically, she used to carry this wallet full of cash. There could be upwards to $500 to about like $2,000 in this little wallet. But it was a problem one day because we were at a rec center and she just happened to forget her wallet and left it on the table. And by the time she came back and searched for her wallet, she did find her wallet in the lost and found, but all of her money in that wallet was gone with no way to track down who took it. I'm surprised she wasn't turned off by cash at this point. But now let's see not only if I can update her payment setup, but also the way she carries all of her stuff because it definitely needs to upgrade. So our buddies from Exeter Wallets sent my mom the perfect wallet to carry all her cards, all her cash. And as you know, as I've talked about this before, every single Exeter wallet comes with RFID protection while looking like a nice high quality wallet. But why am I talking about this when I can show you? So this wallet by Exter is the modular bifold wallet in the nice caramel color. It looks like a normal bifold wallet, right? Well, you gotta see inside. So what's special about this wallet is not only is it a bifold wallet, this section on the left side can be a card holder and is easy and slim to carry around. But if you want a normal bifold wallet where there's a dedicated place to put your cash, you can also have that option, which is especially useful for someone like my mom, where she just needs the security of having the ability to carry cash just for like emergency 
emergencies or something. Even though like we know that most places nowadays take credit cards. So basically how it works it just magnetically attaches to the side and it's pretty sturdy. You have to actually use some force to take it off. It's pretty nice and a really good idea. But let's just go ahead and fit everything that was in her wallet into this new Esther wallet. So here's a bunch of cash, I think about $9. We're gonna get rid of some of the trash she keeps in her wallet, so some of the receipts, the empty lucky money envelopes. So we're gonna sort all her cash, make sure it's all organized, with the largest bills at the back and the smaller bills in the front, and just fit it nicely in the Bifel wallet. Pretty good fit. So the cards that I'm going to be putting in the back of the card holder is going to be her driver's license because she doesn't really need to access that all the time. And then I'm also going to put the Delta Gold card as I don't think she's going to be using it too often when she has the Hyatt card. And then on the front side, I'm going to put the Hyatt card because it's going to be the easiest to get. And if she decides to detach the card wallet portion, she'll always have the Hyatt card on her. And then below that, I'm going to put the Sam's Club card as she uses that card the second most. And it's on there pretty good. I mean, I'm shaking it pretty violently. You have to actually physically take it off if you want it off. Then on the other side that doesn't detach, I'm going to put the Costco card and the Cracker Barrel card. And I'm going to put the Cracker Barrel card on the bottom and then the Costco card on top. As I think she won't be reaching for the gift card as often as she would be reaching for the Costco membership card. And then since gift cards are pretty thin, I'm just going to put the rest of her gift cards on top of each other. So basically we fit two wallets within one. And it's still pretty slim. It's a lot slimmer than the other things that she was carrying. And like I said, this wallet still has protection against credit card skimmers, so she doesn't have to worry about that while having a nice, high quality, good looking wallet. We have a pretty cool feature in case she doesn't want to carry a bulky wallet and just wants to carry a slim card holder. I hope she likes it. If you want to pick up one of these wallets for yourself, use code Calby at checkout and you'll save an extra 5% back on Esther, even on top of the sales they have sometimes. But yeah, those are the cards that are in my mom's wallet.